Hey guys, welcome back for another TikTok video and today it's our 12th TikTok video and today we have ton of good news for you. And the first news which is very exciting is about the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Today we are going to tell you all about its specs, but that comes a bit later on. And in today's tech news, we are going to start with the OnePlus Nord N10 full specs, a new Vivo budget 5G phone, OnePlus Nord N100 full specs, Huawei's new phone, Huawei Nova 8 SE, and Vivo X51, yes, the successor of the Vivo X50, a new Galaxy F series phone, a new Galaxy M series phone, and a new Galaxy A series phone is coming. And at the last, Oppo versus Poco versus Realme. So let's start our video. Let's go to the first ever tech news of today. First, we come to the OnePlus Nord N10. OnePlus Nord N10 is a budget phone from OnePlus and the oneplus n10 specs are pretty decent it is not exactly a budget phone you can call it a mid-range phone actually the specs are 6.49 inch fhd plus amulet or ip6 but the display is not yet confirmed but it is confirmed that it will have a 90 hertz refresh rate and if you ask me i think it's an amulet display the processor is of snapdragon 695g and it offers 6 gb ram and 120 gb of storage the cameras are of 64 megapixel and it also gonna have a punch hole selfie camera a 4300 mAh battery it will have a headphone jack because the oneplus nord didn't have a headphone jack but this one has and it will be a usb type c port now let's move on to the oneplus nord n100 details as well so we come to the oneplus nord n100 the specs are displays of 6.52 inch hd plus ips lcd no fhd panel the processor is of snapdragon 460 it's a 4g phone memory is a 4gb ram and 64 gb storage Cameras are of 13 megapixel plus 2 megapixel plus 2 megapixel. Selfies of 8 megapixel and the battery is of 5000 milliampere headphone. It will have a headphone jack and it will have a USB Type C port. Now this is just a normal budget phone from OnePlus and now this is the first budget phone from phone from OnePlus and I think the price will be around 10 to 11 or 12,000. And so let's move on to the next tech update now. Now we come to Vivo's budget 5G phone. And the name of the phone is vivo y73s okay so let's see the specifications then we're going to tell you the launch date in india the specifications include 6.44 inch fhd plus 60 hertz amulet display yes it's only a 60 hertz panel the processor is of mediatek diamond city 720 it's a 5g processor and the camera is of 48 megapixel plus 8 megapixel ultra wide plus 2 megapixel selfie camera is of notch and 16 megapixel selfie camera the RAM and ROM 8GB plus 128GB. The battery is of 4100 mAh and 18 watt fast charging. And USB 2.0 it supports and it has in display fingerprint scanner, Wi Fi 5, Bluetooth 5.1, Android 10, Fun Touch OS. So, yes, it's a pretty decent 5G phone, but we need to see how Vivo prices it. Now, if it's priced around 25,000, and of course, it's an overpriced phone. So, we will see it. And in, in, if you talk about India's launch date, I don't think it will launch in India. So let's move on to the next tech update of today. Now we come to Huawei's latest phone which is the Huawei Nova series phone. Huawei Nova 8 SE special edition or a good phone um, that is the name actually. The meaning of SE in phones we do not know because iPhone started it and we do not know the actual meaning anyways. Let's see its specs. The images are in front of you. The specs are 6.53 inch FHD OLED display. It will have a water drop notch selfie camera, 60Hz refresh rate. Selfie camera will be of 16 megapixel, and the quad camera will be of 64 megapixel plus 8 plus 2 plus 2. The processor will either be MediaTek Diamond City 720 or 800U. Now both are 5G processors, and it will have a stunning 66 watt of fast charging and a 3800 mAh battery. And the specification, the highlight of this phone is that 7.46 mm thick. Yes, it's a pretty thick phone and the and the not the thick phone sorry slim phone and the weight will be a 178 gram so yes it's gonna be a very decent offering from huawei and unfortunately this is this probably this also won't launch in india so let's move ahead to our next tech update now we come to the successor of the vivo x50 and its name is the vivo x51 5g Let's see the specifications. The images are in front of you. 6.56 inch FHD plus AMOLED display. Vivo X50 had a 60 hertz refresh rate, but this one has 90 hertz. The RAM and ROM will be of 8 GB plus 256 GB. It will have a 32 megapixel punch hole selfie camera, in display fingerprint, and Android 10 out of the box. 4315 mAh battery with 33 watt charging, 48 megapixel quad cameras, 13 megapixel ultra wide cameras, 
and Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G 5G processor. So yes, and the price looks pretty overpriced. GBP749 is the price. If you convert it to Indian price, it will be about 70,000, which I think is massively overpriced. Anyway, so let's move on to the next tech update. And this is the update which you guys were waiting for, the Galaxy S21 Ultra full specs. We have leaked exclusively. The renders are in front of you and to be honest, I do not like the renders at all. Anyways, let's see the specs. 6.8 inch dynamic AMOLED display, Snapdragon 865 in the US, in India Exynos 2100, 2K resolution photos it will have and it will have either a 120Hz or a 144Hz refresh rate, probably I think they will give a 144Hz refresh rate, 108 megapixel primary camera, triple cameras probably, 40 megapixel selfie camera of punch hole, 5000mAh battery and it will come with Android 11 out of the box based on One UI 3.0. Probably there will be two colors, black and silver. So yes, this, these were the full specifications of Galaxy S21 Ultra. So now let's move on to the next tech update. Now in this update, Samsung has announced the Galaxy F series a bit while ago. But unfortunately, we see that most of the F series phones, I mean, there's been only one phone till now. And they have been rebranded phones of Galaxy M series. Now same is popping up that Galaxy F12 or the F12s is coming and F12 or the F12s the name isn't confirmed the name will be it will be a rebranded version of one of Galaxy M series phones and probably that phone will be of Galaxy M21. So this for the update of Galaxy F series the F12. So let's move on to the next update which is about the A series. The Galaxy A series Galaxy A02 has been spotted with Snapdragon 450 and Galaxy M02 might be a rebranded version of Galaxy A02 in India and A02 might not launch in India, we do not know exactly. Now why is Samsung following Xiaomi and Realme and rebranding things, we do not know. It's a problem of Samsung. Anyways, now we come to our last update of today which is Poco vs Realme vs Oppo. And this is about our latest video Poco M2 vs Realme Narzo 20A vs Oppo A15. The link is in the description. Do check it out and you will understand who wins. This, these three are the best phones under 10,000 and we are going to tell you which one is the best under 10,000. So the link is in the description. Do check it out. So thanks for watching and I hope you like this video and do like, share, subscribe and comment. And we'll be back with our next video soon. So till then, bye and thanks for watching. But before we end, if you have any questions, do comment us and we will answer you within 5 minutes. So thanks for watching.